Tonight, I call on team owners, union representatives, coaches, and players to take the lead, to send the right signal, to get tough, and to get rid of steroids now. That is that is very much pre avocado ice cream. That's a much <laughs> that's back different when he now. was young and bloated and just winning Super Bowls <laughs> like crazy. Uh, Hogan, he told ESPN the magazine that his his lifelong ambition is to be a U.S. senator. He echoed that sentiment a year later in 2005 on 60 Minutes. Does Tom Brady get into politics? I don't know. Look, he's got name ID, and that's one of the things that, that politicians clamor for. If they're going to actually run for office, it gives you an inherent advantage. He could obviously raise money. He's going to have support, depending on where he decides to run. And if he continues to refuse to mention uh, uh, the New England area uh, in his statements, doubtful he could move up there and run. But potentially in Florida, <laughs> yeah. he's probably got a lock on a nomination. He, he could win a, in three states, California, Massachusetts, as a Republican, by the way, and of course, the state of Florida. And we know, Allison, as we said earlier, he's got experience fighting inflation. I don't know if he'd um, win in Massachusetts right now. People yeah, aren't too happy with he that. He would win. 97% of the electorate in Massachusetts would vote for Tom Brady. I'd go back there, buy a place just so I could vote again for him. <laughs> Despite the fact that he left us out of his goodbye. I, I couldn't believe that. Tom. Tom. I know. But Maybe he'll all come the greats on the show, all the Rob. greats can hold a grudge. We have Tom to invite Brady's. him on the show. Yeah, I'm sure he'll come on. <laughs> I would love for him to come on, by the way. Hogan, great seeing you, my friend. We'll see you again soon. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Sure. Allison?